بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين كلما ذكر الذاكرون وكلما غفلا ذكر الغافلون أما بعد ما يسبق المسلم الله سبحانه وتعالى هي سيد من القرآن يا أيها الذين أمنوا تقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون واعتصموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا واذكروا نعمة الله عليكم إذ كنتم أداء فألف بين قلوبكم فأصبحتم من نعمتي إخوانا ما يسبق المسلم community and unity these are two things which we hear very uh, very common this is our community and the second thing is unity Allah sent Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be a role model of community building and how to unite people and that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he became the most successful person on the face of this earth because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given him that character which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala defines in the Quran noon wal qalam wa ma yasturun wa ma anta bi rabbika bi majnun wa innaka la ala khuluqin azim the highest level of character and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said i have been sent wa'ithtu li utammima makarim al akhlaq i have been sent to complete the character of people ramadan is works on both sides it's a community building event where we do iftar together where we uh, read tarawih together where everyone has a very positive mindset and these are the aspects of taqwa the quality of taqwa is how can every other person be protected from me from my harm no one should be hurt through my actions this every person how can i serve the other person how can i go out of the way to do something to serve the other person like ibn abbas radiyallahu anhuma he was he says i was in itikaf one person came in the masjid nabi ali sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said you know he he expressed his circumstances and conditions and he says you know if maybe if you can go and talk to that person or somehow communicate with that person you know that person may listen to you and my my problem will be resolved and my problem will be solved and now Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma is known for his knowledge he is one of the greatest uh, in the sahaba radiyallahu anhumain about his knowledge was very very known and he was amongst the youngest in the council of Hazrat Umar radiyallahu an because Allah had given him so much knowledge and so much wisdom and at that moment when this person comes and also of course he is also the cousin of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he is the imam of tafsir with all of these attributes this person comes so he says okay let's go now this person tells him aren't you in etikaf aren't you in this he says look i had rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying that a person who goes to fulfill the need of another person allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards him 10 years of itikaf and 
when a person makes one day of itikaf, Allah puts three trenches between him and the hellfire. And the distance between one trench to the other trench is 500 years. And then he said, another hadith, that a person who goes out to fulfill a need of a Muslim brother, Allah sends 72 blessings on him. One is enough to take care of all his needs in this world, and the other Allah reserve in akhirat for him. So he went and helped him, and he said that the way Ibn Abbas carried it out, that person became so thankful and grateful to him. So this Ramadan is a month of us that when what is the sign of taqwa what is the sign of uh, that our ramadan has been accepted that we have to analyze our hidayat have we got or not and like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once read the ayat of the Quran أَفَمَنْ شَرَهُ اللَّهُ صَدُرُ الْإِسْلَامِ فَهُوَا لَا نُورٍ مِنْ رَبِّي And he mentioned that the signs of hidayat, hidayat for a person is that Allah opens the deception Allah opens the deception of the world on him وَالْإِنَابَةُ إِلَى دَارِ الْخُلُودِ He invests his time and things making his akhirat life hereafter وَإِسْتِدَادِ لِلْمَوْتِ قَبْلَ النُّزُولِ is constantly preparing for death before it comes. So taqwa is a quality of character building which when a person which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says مَنْ أَسْلَهَ مَا بَيْنَ وَبَيْنَ رَبِّ أَسْلَهَ اللَّهُ مَا بَيْنَ وَبَيْنَ خَلْقِهِ A person rectifies his relationship between him and Allah Allah will correct his relationship between him and the people. So that's why one of the most essential, important things in Islam is unity. And unity will come in that way when you consider every other person better than you. He's better than me. He's better than me. He's better than me. He's be Considering every person better than you. Looking at the good of every person. That mashallah, this person has is always smiling. This person is always helping. This person looking at the good of each and every person, and thinking that oh Allah, I wish I had this quality of good, this goodness He has. I have. I wish I had this quality, good good quality He has. I wish I had this quality. Uh, looking at the good of each and every person, and appreciating and being thankful and asking Allah that Allah you know how can I also benefit from this good quality which my brother has or my sister has so one is always consider the unity because on the unity the help of Allah comes when a community is united the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes. When a community is not united, Allah uplifts the help. Taqwa is to build those skills inside us that you become a progressive community. You become a successful community. You have a community that who looks towards the help of Allah and who lives on the basic fundamentals of Islam. Inna Allah ya'muru bil adli wal ihsan Allah says that what is the fundamentals of Islam is you always stand for justice you always want to do good towards everyone else the attitude ta'awanu ala al birri wa taqwa that always assisting in good deeds which leads towards taqwa and piety and wa'tasimu bihablillahi jami'a uniting under the band of Allah and His Rasul. These are the common things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has inspired and encouraged and motivated us to do. 
and on this Allah has kept uh, the foundation of Islam on that's why it is very very essential that the challenges and the struggle we have in today's time which every household has which every person has the struggle between parents and children the struggle between community members all the challenges we face Allah has given a very simple solution to that which he gave to his Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam and if we adopt that wherever this method will be adopted it will unify everyone and that is called consultation or mashwara Allah told Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa bima rahmatin min Allah linta lahum my nabi out of our mercy we made you very soft hearted if we were head of a household if we had we the quality of leadership is we need to bring inside us softness humbleness that's why Allah made all the anbiya ali musallatu wassalam graze sheep they were shepherds because that brings humbleness and patience inside a person because that's very important quality for a person for a person who may be head hold uh, a head hold of a house or a business or a community or a family this quality of being soft and lenient be soft be lenient allah to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi if you were harsh lan fadlu min hawlik sahaba even that they were so close to you they would not assemble around you you can imagine hazrat anas radiyallahu anhu says خدمت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم 10 سنين اي سيرف رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم 10 years i was always with him and he would tell me to go and carry out a task and i was a child i was a young boy i would go on outside and play with the kids and i would forget رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم would walk past me and carry out that and he would come back and he would never tell me why didn't you do it why what happened what nothing overlooking overlooking at things huh? allah told rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam a principle of leadership لا تكلف الا نفسك وحرض المؤمنين you carry out the task yourself be harsh on yourself you follow the principles you follow uh, the hard tasks for others وحرض المؤمنين just inspire and motivate and encourage them for them it's encouragement that's why it is said in arabic a very uh, simple thing that you when you when you work with people all right and especially when you're building community all right accountability is for yourself am i punctual Am I on time? Am I doing this? For others is encouragement, appreciation, thankfulness. The moment we start taking accountability from people, uh, they would basically would not want to associate with us. 
appreciation, showing love and care. Uh, that bonds people. That's why if you if you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave an example to us that how the honey bee and the honey queen and how they make the honey. If you study that whole concept, subhanallah, and what comes out of the honey, honeybee is honey. Fi shifaun linnas, it's cure for people. A very small insect. But if you study the whole system, how Allah has made it with the queen honeybee and the whole system, you'd be shocked and stunned. How perfectly, how correctly, how 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 it is done. Mashwara is the same thing, perfect management, perfect correcting skills. And that comes with what? Taqwa. Taqwa is the first thing. Ramadan was given to us for this quality of taqwa. It's patience. It's to build patience inside us. That's the first thing. That okay, you have to you can't eat anything. You can't drink anything. Right? Your wife is next to you, but because of the fear of Allah and because of the order of Allah, uh, you are not engaged in the relationship. All of those things is character building. The first thing Allah told Rasulullah was be soft. Second, fa'fu anhum. You will see their shortcomings. You are Sayyid al -Ambiya. You are the highest of the prophets. You are sinless. You will see their shortcomings. Don't focus on their shortcomings. Focus on the good. Focus on the good. And the shortcomings, forgive them. Wastaghfir lahum. And make dua for them. Pray for them. Hmm. Praying for them. Wishing the best for them. This is which wins the hearts of people. And then when you want to carry out a task, sit with everyone, sit with them. Take everyone's input, what you think, 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 what you think. One of the qualities of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that he used to be a very quiet person. A very quiet person. very very quiet and calm person this quality of being quiet and calm observing things these are the qualities which build people up rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came to build people and that's why the people which Rasulullah built, which are called Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala, the community which he built, men, women, children, that community which Rasulullah built in Medina Munawwara, it was such a community that they had passed that high expectations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala announced and gave the certification of his pleasure for them akbar that Allah granted them the certification of his pleasure for them and said all of them the people of paradise the whole class passed, all the men, all the women, all the children, 100% pass rate. 
such a community building that's why this is these are the things we need to learn from sirat the sirat of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that how rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam built a character of people how he worked with people how do we have these qualities inside us or not ramadan has come it's like resetting that okay you have 30 days uh, from last ramadan to this ramadan see how much of your character you've become a better person a better father a better husband a better coworker a better community member what i what are your goals of life has ramadan come and change our goals and motives of life have have our focus what is our focus what is our determination what is our end goal wherever you go people say okay this is my one year plan this is my you know two year plan this is my five year plan this is my 10 year plan what is our plan of our life do we value this life rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says iqtanim khamsan qabla khams value five things before five things hayatuka qabla mautik life before death let's invest our life into something which will be productive for us let's become a person of that nature uh, that like rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says khairun nas man yanfa'u nas best of the people is who benefits the people let's become a bene let's benefit the humanity at large al khalq wa ayal allah hab al nas ila allah anfa'u lin nas the whole world is like a family to allah and the most beloved to allah is who benefits the creation of allah the most let's show this character to everyone let's have this carry this out ramadan has come to build this inside us these qualities inside us to bring the good out of us suppress our carnival desires and bring the good out of us it is not only ramadan but we have to 30 days we do this so that we can carry this out the whole year how can we live the whole year like ramadan that same mentality that same thing that's why it is my humble request that that's reflect in this month of ramadan and bring these qualities of unity uniting the community uniting the people let's become a person who unites people not a person that who divides people all those things which can cause friction division islam has made all those things haram all those things all those things all those ill sicknesses or bad habits which people have gossiping backbiting instigating gaslighting all those things which basically instead of uniting two people uh, make two person go away uh, from each other this creating unnecessary doubts unnecessary things without any concrete evidence without any facts without any even finding anything out that's why allah says in the quran ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu in ja'akum fasikum bi naba'in fatabayyanu that person he may be religious Allah Allah has quoted this to the people of iman and if you really ponder over it 
that a person who tries to break the unity of Muslims and the community, Allah labels him as a fasik. Ya ayyul ladheena amanu in jaakum fasikum binabain something. Oh, look. He doesn't inquire. He doesn't know. He's just heard, overheard someone saying. Someone sent it on WhatsApp. Someone just assumed. Someone just assumed. Just assumption, uh, someone's personal opinion, someone's personal thought, and without inquiring, without looking into the matter, he starts spreading that rumors. قبل أن تصيبوا قوما بجحالة فتصبحوا على ما فعلتم نادمين. And because of that, the outbreak happens in the community. People start fighting with each other. It escalates. What was it? Where did it start from? What was the reality? Where did this come from? That one person just accused someone or just said something and caused all of this. And that person, Allah names him. He may be religious. He may be a very praying person. But this quality, uh, this quality is so damaging and so harmful. Uh, that's why Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لَنْ يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ قَطَّاتٌ A person who, who always try to break people up. He goes to one person, he tells him something, goes to another person, you know, and لَا يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ ذُلْ وَجْهَيْنِ And a person who has two faces. A person goes to another person with one face. Oh, yeah, mashallah, very, very good. Behind his back, he stabs him. These people will not enter into Jannah. لَا يَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ نَمَّام He goes to the husband, tells him one thing. Goes to the wife, tells something. Goes to the brother. One brother tells him one thing. Oh, your brother was saying this. Goes to another brother, tells him another thing. Tell to a business partner, oh, your partner was doing this. And goes to another who was doing it. Yani creating problems and dividing people. This quality, all these qualities of these people. Hmm, or who create a negative vibe. Allah says in the Quran, Ya ayu al-lazina amru shtanibu kathiran min al-dhan. Creating negative vibes, negative thoughts. What we have been told, Zannu bil mu'minin khaira. Think about every person in a positive and a good way. Not negative. Inna ba'da dhani ithmum wa la tajassasu. Then what happens when you have a negative feeling towards a person? Then you're always looking at his. Now you are looking at his faults. What is he doing? Why is he doing? Where is he going? What is he doing? That's none of your business. What's that got to do with you? Why are you worried about him? Why can't you just worry about yourself? But now. Uh, and this is a very common disease in the pe religious people. Uh, sitting in the masjid, sitting in the, it's Ramadan, sitting in the masjid. Mashallah, instead of reading Quran, making dhikr, uh, uh, sitting, okay, we have time. It's atikaf, then atikaf, and backbiting, gossiping. They think that they talk about the, all the worldly politics. They think they run the whole world. All of these things, Quran has told us to stay away from. Now, spying on him, asking people, 
which is not related to them uh, asking about him then after that they start talking about the person when you hear someone who comes and talks about a third person in front of you remember that person is going to talk about you to another person also and that that ghibat that backbiting it's worse than committing adultery uh, that's why and until th- at the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam two women got up in backbiting Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam told them that their fast broke uh, they had to vomit and he showed this ummah that yes in fasting this will happen the blessing of the the spirit the spiritual of the as- aspect of the fasting and the purpose of the fasting would be defeated if you get engaged in this stay away from it stay away from it another thing which a person needs to do in this month of ramadan is take time out it's the last ashara sit in atikaf build your relationship between yourself and allah for the women folk sit in the house meditate build your character build yourself up and keep high hopes from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the quality of uniting and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the qualities of community building and rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that sayyidul qaumi khadimuhum a person who serves people Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes him they always have the attitude of serving people for the sake of Allah. We don't want anything in return. If Allah gives us opportunity any time, any occasion, any point, consider this as a blessing and consider this opportunity from Allah which has come knocked on your door, knocked to you, has come to you. Take advantage of it and make it a means of your akhirah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our good deeds in this month of Ramadan and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the whole Muslim ummah and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring peace and harmony in in the world and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this Ramadan a means of our character building our rectification and giving us the good qualities which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses in reward of Ramadan سبحان الله وبحمده سبحانك اللهم اشهد ان لا اله الا انت واستغفرك سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين